in our last session we learned about business entities so what exactly is business entity in order to uh, business entities act as an interface for our data layer okay so if you want to consume the models in the data builder first you will bring it to business layer using the business entities on top of the business entities you can create your fact models okay so what exactly is a fact model so what sap is saying about this fact model let's look into this so what SAP is saying, um, combine business entities in fact and consumption model. So combine your business entities into star schemas to prepare them for consumption. Okay. And before that, you can use a single business entity in multiple consumption models and modify it by adding and removing major attributes. So what exactly SAP is saying is uh, we can consume business entities in consumption model. Means after creating business entities, uh, you can directly go for a consumption model. No need to come for a fact model, but you can optionally combine. So it is an optional model. Okay. This uh, uh, fact model is nothing but an optional model. Uh, combine your business entity into intermediate fact model and then use this as a source for your consumption. It means for a consumption model, either you can create them on the business entities directly or on top of business entity create a fact model and then consume in, in your consumption model. So either way we can use it. So let's learn about how to create a fact model. So when I came, uh, going to the business builder under the fact models, click on this new fact model and then it is asking a business name. So I'm giving sales underscore cube. As I said, uh, this is a star schema kind. So I'm giving and uh, cube as a name here, nothing more than that. So whenever I'm, whatever name I'm giving, the technical name is prefixed with FM underscore fact model, okay? So step two, on step two, if you see here, here I have an option only to select uh, the dimensions or analytical models. It means I have an option only to select the entities from the business model, business builder, nothing from the data builder. Okay, that is the point to be may remember here. So go to sales data AD2, which we created in our previous session. So which contains some transactional data, go to step three, and then it is creating an alias name, sales data AD2, and then click on create button. There is a meaning for the alias name, and we will discuss it later. So in my uh, sales data AD2, in my you know analytical data set, I, for this uh, transactional data, I created an association. So here point to remember is uh, only when you create, when you added uh, the master data dimensions as associations in your transactional data, then only you can consume them here. You can see them here. Here, if you, you have an option called a dimension sources, if you click on plus symbol, so what you are seeing here, nothing but the associations you maintained on your analytical data set. If you don't maintain any associations in your analytical data set, then you don't see anything here. Okay, remember that point. As of now, because in my transaction data, since I added middle attribute as association, it is coming here. So click on this radio button and click on step two and click on step three. And then here we need to link it. So what exactly you need to go to this one and click on this link button, link association path. Then what happened? This uh, particular middle mass data is uh, binded with this uh, association. Okay, click on step four. Now here it is asking. So from your material dimension, which are the attributes you want to consume? Material group, material type and weight. I want these three. So click on create button. So what happened? A dimension source is come. Now all these can be consumed in our, whenever we are consuming this, uh, you know, fact model in our consumption model or in SAC, we can uh, see all these. Now if I go to attribute section, so on the attribute section, since I selected those three for the output, I can see all these. But as of now, there are no measures, there are no attributes. So when you're creating a fact model on top of your business entity, you need to manually select them, whichever you need, feels you need, you know, from the business entity. So click on this, uh, you know, three, three dots here. When you click on it here, it will show all the attributes from your business entity. Um, I can select all by simply clicking on here and then clicking on you know, apply. You see source object, all these are coming from this uh, sales study and the material, since there is an association happened between the transaction data and material master data, it is showing as a material attribute. And I click on apply button. So those attributes will be uh, come, come here. Okay, and then go to measures. So uh, measures also we need to perform same kind of activity. On my transaction data set, I have quantity measure, so I can add that here.
in my fact model. So now um, in our transactional more uh, in the business entity analytical data set side, uh, also we seen how to create extra measures, right? But there is a difference between creating a measure in the fact model compared to creating a measure in the analytical data set. Okay, let's see how it is. You can see how I created a measure in the analytical data set in my previous video. Now here in the fact model, I am creating a new measure. So when I am creating a new measure, here I have multiple options. You see the source type, measure type. Is it a restricted measure, count, calculated measure, fixed value, converted currency? It means in fact model, when you're creating a new cal new column, a column may be a RKF, CKF, it may be a distant count, you know, fixed value. If you want to hard code any fixed measure, you can do it. And you can perform currency conversion also in the fact model important point so now what i am going to do i am going to create a fixed measure now as of now amount underscore usd okay and then i am and then i am calling it as a um, one second restricted measure huh? no no let's not amount let's go for uh, material okay material underscore m1 oh, no, no. quantity underscore m1 quantity quantity underscore m1 so i have multiple materials in my uh, transactional data but on this particular column i want to display quantities of m1 only m1 material only so i am calling it as a restricted measure and select the source here i am selecting quantity as a source here on the restrictions i can add the restriction uh, restriction on you can add multiple restrictions as of now i am adding restriction on material where material equal to you see multiple operations also it is possible uh, material uh, equal to the value here you can provide the value so m1 i am giving here okay so quick add m1 was added click on apply so what happened now under this particular quantity m1 i can see quantities only for the m1 materials only okay so and then and the remaining all places i can see zero click on save button so this is how to create a new mission Instant 10, for example, um, I can say fixed measure. Click on and the currency on it. If you want to, for example, instead of fixed measure, if you want to make it as an amount, for means uh, you know, semantically change, um, make it something different, I can change it to amount underscore USD. USD. I'm changing it fixed value only still, but I am assigning instead of a blank sim simple measure, I am making it as an amount column, amount USD. So the since I said it is an amount with currency, I need to add the constant value USD as a unit to it and click on save button. Now, if you want to perform conversion would be available under consumption model also so here also let's look into it quickly so click on the plus symbol and if you want to perform currency conversion converted currency and uh, provide you uh, for example amount underscore euro converted currency what is your source measure amount underscore because it is a currency conversion only one currency field available in my source what is and uh, that is usd and uh, here you need to enter date but to apply the currency conversion you need to provide a date field reference you can select a date field as a reference created on and then error handling if a currency conversion not possible what will but only point pending here is client as of now in trial version i am not able to find anything about client id so i cannot perform this completely to show you how it is working but here we have an option to perform currency conversion also okay so that we need to you know notice notice that's it so this is how to create measures in fact model and how to create attributes you can create you know calculated attributes also just as i said in analytical data set okay you can create calculated attributes also uh, we can see it in later point uh, that's it remaining input parameters yeah we can create i will take a separate session on creating input parameters and hierarchies um, expose the dimension sources i don't know what is we will look into it later point this one also that's it okay once you are done with uh, uh, you know 
doing all these activities what you can do you can change the status from here to ready to use so that this can be consumed in the consumption views and click on save button so there is no deploy button just like our you know data builder so click on save button after changing the status that's it we are done with the um, fact model creation go to data preview in data preview i can see all my columns quantity quantity m1 so whenever if i select quantity m1 into my add to perspective so wherever i have m1 material so i need to let me remove created on from perspective document number also from perspective mm, sorry sorry document number also remove from perspective add material to the perspective so i can see this uh, quantity and m1 60 only for the m1 line item m2 we have zero okay and uh, but uh, and the real we have 170 quantity so this is how the rkfs are working and amount underscore usd you see usd currency attached to my currency okay this is all about the fact model in our next session we will discuss about uh, consumption models okay i'm stopping it so